Good morning, everyone. Welcome to beautiful Laughlin, Nevada. This is the Colorado River. If you've never been here before, when it's a little warmer, this is full of jet skis, water skiers, and people playing. Yes, there is a current. Yes, the water's running downriver, and you got to keep yourself moving and probably be a pretty good swimmer to be out there. But what a beautiful day. It is. March, no, we're May, May 8th. No, what am I saying? God, today is April, isn't it? It's April. See what happens when you lose track of time in life. Anyway, I decided to stay at the little Pioneer, a uh, little, you know, side of the road, old school motel. This place back in its day was probably something else. It's next to the Colorado Bell. But Colorado Bell is sinking, they said, so they can't use the Colorado Bell anymore. It's completely shut down. But that's about all you got. Uh, beautiful river. Nobody's out here doing anything this morning. The old Pioneer, uh, the, the rooms that face toward the river are pretty uh, cool. You got riverfront view if you want. I imagine cost more. Little tiny casino here. No uh, table games, just electronic games, slots and everything. And then this really cool big old sign like what you'd imagine in Vegas from Fremont Street back in the day. But uh, it's an icon on the uh, Laughlin waterfront. Harrah's is up the road that way. Across from me is the Golden Nugget. And then, let's see, there's the Edgewater. And I think it's called, like, the Equus or something like that. And then another one called Don Laughlin's Riverside down the way. But um, hopefully Laughlin Tourism is coming back. It's really hot here in the summer. It's kind of warm here in the spring. It's windy. Ooh, it's windy. Not too bad, actually. It's actually a pretty light breeze. Today is mid-70s. I'm in shorts, and I'm going to hit the road and head for Arizona. But I wanted to show you that these places aren't all that they look like from the street. So definitely worth checking out the old Pioneer. Real basic room. Nothing fancy. It's going to run a lot like a Motel 6. But uh, if you don't want to spend $100 a night, go to AAA. And get this place for about 40 bucks so anyway that's my report from the pioneer have a good one guys